In today's video, we're playing Hunter Call of the Wild on the Parque Fernando map. This map's located down on Brazil, and we're not just going for any animals, we're going for trophies. On this map, there's pumas, mule deer, axis deer, red deer, black buck, water buffalo, cinnamon teal, and coyotes. So we're going to be going after all of those. Now this right here is what the map actually looks like. It is based in Brazil, and that is why we have an opportunity to kill a lot of those really cool animals like I mentioned earlier. Now since hunting specific animals in this game gets incredibly difficult, like listen, I'm not kidding. If you decide you want to kill an axis deer, you will not see an axis deer for like four days. We're going to be opportunistic. If we see an animal on our list, we're going to take it if we can. Now lucky for me, I actually spotted some axis deer, and I've already made the stalk. I believe they're right over here somewhere, or they were bedded down a second ago, but I think during the intro they've actually moved so i may have to find them again yeah they definitely moved that's not good oh no 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 there they are there they are that's a good one it just laid down it just laid down all right guys that's a pretty good one i think i looked at it it's either a three or four it's a pretty big axis deer nevertheless i'm going to try to take it with my bow just in case there's a red deer over there or something i'll be able to make a quiet shot and i could maybe take him too but we do have to get a lot closer because i cannot shoot through a bush all right there's one that's only two that is not what we're going for like i said a literal trophy who is that one behind it oh there looks like there's two behind it goodness i gotta crawl i gotta crawl dude dude just like i was saying we got a warrant we got a mating call from back behind us it's from a red deer if we can get one take one of these out with the bow we can go over there and kill that one and have no problem at all all right there's one there's a two we don't want that we're looking for a four. Oh. Uh. That one's a four. That's the one. That's the one. We're not going to try to be picky. We're going to take what we can. That one right there definitely looks like a good one. Let me get the bow ready. As soon as I stand up, I got to be able to make this shot. Hold up. I can shoot from the ground. Heck yeah, I'll do it. 40 yards. Taking the shot. Just go. He's down. He's down. Let's go. Heck yeah, buddy. Dude, I think I dropped him. I don't think he went anywhere. Heck to the yeah, he didn't go zero. Dude. Look at that. That is a good one. You can't even see his antlers. They're so huge. Double lung and liver. He's a silver? Not bad. Check it out, boys. Just made this list. Let's go ahead and mark off Axis Deer in the books. Heck yeah, buddy. That worked perfectly. Next animal, literally anything except an axis deer, I am not gonna be picky. And one thing I didn't mention at the beginning, for all these animals, we're gonna try to kill them in a true sportsman way that you would in real life. So like this, it was a nice spot and stalk, perfectly realistic. That's how we're gonna do all these animals for this entire series. One of my favorite strats for actually finding animals in areas like this is just glassing. It's where you go to like a high point, like this little knob right here, and then you just look down into the canyon. So you can kind of look down there a little bit these trees doesn't help but you can actually look in there and a lot of times you'll actually find the animals you're looking for you can look on this whole bank and see if there's any animals up there that's one of my favorite ways to find animals oh there we go boys what are those looks like red deer they're red deer we found a good herd of red deer gosh those are huge now what we're going to do is we're going to not only pick one out to shoot because we're trying to go for the trophy we don't want a female we don't want a young buck we don't want a spike Goodness, we definitely don't want to spot. But we want a big one. But the second thing is a actual plan of attack. Now, if you look at them, you can see that the red deer are down there. Awesome. Cool beans, some would say. But it's not because it's actually directly down the wind cone. So what we're going to have to do is either make a long shot or figure out a way to get out of the wind. We're only 236. To be honest, guys, I might just make a long shot. The rifle of choice is actually a 3 oh, 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 what is this? Oh, uh, we got a buck closer. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's throwing a warning call, too. Get the bow, get the bow just in case. This is a black buck right here. We might be able to knock it out. Where's it at? Where's it at? That's an axis deer. Where's the black buck that just threw out that warning call? Is that the black buck? Is that the black buck? That's axis. Anyways, guys, in that time we was looking for the black buck, the wind has actually shifted, and we're in good shape. We can actually make a stalk on them. So let's just go right down through here. We'll make a stalk on them. Maybe we'll get one with a bow. The spotting is finished. The stalking is started. Here we go. All right, we're still 200 yards away, but we do need to be figuring out which one we're actually going to go for. That big one right there, it's only a four. That's good, but it's not a trophy compared to what I've seen. That is a trophy. A level eight mythical. This isn't going to be an easy kill, guys. We got to get right up on it. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get right down in this creek. We're going to walk right through him. Oh, that's not going to work. We don't have cover. We still got that black buck right up here. If he's a trophy, we can take him with a bow and still not spook the red deer. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, I could kill that, but that doesn't look like a trophy. 
We're gonna pass it up. We're gonna keep moving. Really cool animal though. I don't think I've ever killed one of those on this game before. We're still 110 yards. I need a lot closer than that to make something, make a shot with my bow. I need to get at maximum 80 yards and I will feel a little comfortable. Preferably 50. All right, we're, we're 80. We're 85. We're 80 yards right here. I think I'm gonna try to take the shot. It's a long shot, but I think I can take it. Red deer are pretty big targets. Yes! I stuck him. I stuck him. What was this over here? An axis deer mating call? Watch for him. Watch for him. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. He's dead in the water. Look at the whole herd just slowly moving out. A lot of them's running right past me. Look at that. That is crazy. Dude, that is epic. There we go. Where is he floating to? That is a mythical. I'll take it. Red deer off the list. What do we target next? That's a great question. All right. <clears throat> All right, we switch locations. I'm kind of, I like the dead forest. There's actually these dead forests around here. I like this area because you can actually look and you can see a pretty long way and do some pretty effective glassing. I know there's mule deer here and I know there's red deer here. We don't really, we don't need red deer, but they're here. There we have a little doe. It's a mule deer doe. There might be a bug with her. And that's what I'm counting on. A lot of times there won't just be a doe bedding by herself. So I'm gonna use that statistic to my advantage and just assume there's gonna be a buck with her. So I'm gonna sneak up, see what I can do. She's alert. Weird, but nothing with her. I'll go ahead and get some meat. Meat's good. All right, well, she's not a trophy, but Still a mule deer, but it's not a trophy, so we're not marking it off the list. We just got that one for some quick money. We're mainly here for mule deer and water buffalo if we see one. Hey, there we go. There we got a mule deer. I just looked over the canyon, saw him over there, and I was like, hey, there, that's a mule deer. I don't know if he's a trophy or not. Let's further investigate. Oh, yo, we have two deer. Uh, the back one's a doe. The front one's a buck. It's a three? That's not a bad buck. I think I may take it. Now, here's the thing, guys. Since it is across the lake, they're big-bodied deer. I don't see anything else in the area. I'm just going to take it with the rifle. All right, let's find it, and uh, let's get set up. Is that it? Oh, oh, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. Okay, Bubba. We got, all right, we got options. All right, here's one. This one's also a three, or that one above it's a three, but that one above it's running. We got to figure out which one's bigger and how to make a shot on it. One way or another, we need to go prone. We need to go ahead and be getting at our 308 in case they start getting it. Now, we're using our 308. That should be perfect. We're in within range. Um, That's the doe. Don't need that. That's the buck. That buck's getting gone, brother. And then this deer over here somewhere at the watering hole right there. That ain't a bad buck, but he's sitting there drinking the whole time. So we may just go ahead and take him right there. Maybe. I don't know. That buck looks all right. I have a skill which stops them, and I don't know how to use it. Activate? Oh, okay. So I just equipped my skill to where I can whistle at a deer and stop, make it stop. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Oh, that's a terrible idea. He got out of range. You know what? Hey, we're just gonna shoot this one. All right, I don't think he's gonna go very far. Oh yeah, he ain't going very far. He's gotta drop. He's gotta drop. He can't go much further. Okay. All right, oh, boom, he's dead. That's a pretty good one, too. I tried my little whistling perk. It didn't work, okay? The deer did not stop. All right, I think we shot him somewhere right through here, so hopefully we'll be getting on a trail pretty soon, finding that bad boy, because he dead. Oh, yeah, here we go. This right here is where he was standing. I was way over there. That's a kill shot. The brother's dead. I'm surprised he went as far as he did. Jeez, look at that. That is a trophy. That's a good one. That's a weird one, but it's a good one. It's a silver, so nothing crazy, but, I mean... That's a good trophy. That's a trophy. You can't tell me he's not. Anyways, let's go ahead and mark mule deer off the list. Where'd I put mule deer? Oh, right there. Cha-ching. So the next question is, where do we go from here? I say let's go for a black buck. I ain't trying to hide nothing. This is what I use to uh, figure out where to go, okay? This isn't really cheat codes, but it does make the game a whole lot easier. Just go to Google, type in Hunter Call the Wild Animal Map Location animal location map. It kind of gives you a good idea of where the animals are going to be. If we want black buck, we're going to look for the black ones. Um, seems to have a good concentration of black bucks here. Let's go there. We want to go over here. Hey, there's a black buck. Okay, that's something to start with. It's not, it's a, it's a female and it's alert which is not good. But let's look around. There may be a male with her somewhere. Hmm. 
cat tracks, puma tracks. Now, I don't know how old these are. I may backtrack them a little bit and uh, see if I can find some puma dookie, figure out how old it is. But in this area, I've seen for sure black buck puma, and I'm pretty sure I see ducks out here on the water. So we're going to go ahead and make our way downtown walking fast and try to take one of them out. Now, I'm not a big duck hunter, so on my list here, I just have them labeled as duck. I don't know what kind they are, but they are ducks. The puma appears to really like this location, so we may actually come back here since we have their location figured out, and we could actually shoot from over there. But we may get lucky and find one out here on the prowl. All right, right out there's the ducks. I couldn't tell you if, wait, which one was a trophy if I had to. 120 yards away? How am I supposed to shoot those? I don't know how to shoot that. All I got's a 12 gauge shotgun. I can't even see you. Now I'll make my best shot. Jack, me with your best shot. <laughs> All right, they're coming over me. They're coming over me. This is my chance. All right, get ready, boys. Reload real quick. Reload real quick. Reload real quick. They're coming over me. Now, I think they're going away from me. I've never duck hunted in real life, so I'm kind of at a disadvantage. Um, update. I did a little research. There is not actually coyotes on this map. I do not know where I got that information from, but we're going to go ahead and mark it off as if we killed it. ka -chow! It is the next day, guys. We're back out here, continuing on the challenge. Let's go. Just a little recap. We still need to get ducks, black buck, buffalo, and puma. There's a black buck, and it's a male. It says it's only a three, and it doesn't appear to be the biggest animal in the world, but let's be honest, guys. I've never hunted black buck in this game before. I don't know what a big black buck is. I mean, that looks big to me. I'm going to take it. This black buck hunting is hard. Just the areas they like is like the thick stuff, and it's just hard to get in there and see him. I've got one right over here making a mating call every now and again, but I've just not seen him. Guys, I've got a fresh track right here of a black buck heading that way. We're gonna go find him. Here's some dookie. He should be right over this hill. We should probably start being a little quieter. I'm gonna go ahead and crouch, get down lower. He's gotta be somewhere right down in here. He's gotta be. He can't cover that much ground. I just found him. He's right there. He's right there out in the middle. He's feeding. This is perfect. He's 150 yards away. That's an easy shot. All right, guys, honestly, I think we're going to try to take that shot. 150 yards, I can do it. Here we go. Let's make this count. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Let me just tell you, I have worked for this one. Is he a trophy? I have no idea, but he looks good. Perfect long shot. He dropped. Perfect. Black bug officially off the list. Let's go get a cinnamon teal. Since the only thing we have left on the list is duck, buffalo, and puma, we are gonna go get a little bit of a gear change. We are changing out our weapons, swapping them out to something that can, you know, take care of those a little bit better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually get rid of the bow. I'm gonna keep the shotgun, keep the 308, and I'm gonna add the 338 range master, and I'm gonna add the 22 in case I see a duck a little bit out of shotgun range. Change of plans, I actually changed my plans. Instead of using the 338, I actually wanna do something completely different. I actually want to use a recurve bow, and that is because I can use my 700 grain arrows. Now, there's no sights on these things, so it's going to make it a little harder, but that's why I want to implement a tree stand. Yes, a tree stand. That's crazy, but I think it's going to work. I could either do a blind or a true stand. I think I'm just going to go straight stand, dude. I'm not, I don't use stands often in this game, and I want to try them. I have the perfect spot to set up a stand, and it is right down in here. Now I'm actually gonna rush in there, set up the stand, sit there until the buffalo swarm right under me. I've never done this before, but I definitely think it's gonna work out. We are setting up a tree stand literally right in the middle of a water buffalo highway. You have to be careful because water buffalo are undoubtedly the biggest animal in the game and they're far larger than the Cape buffalo on the Africa map. Um, that tree looks pretty nice. This tree looks Kirby? I don't know, but we can definitely see this is the highway. This is going to be crazy. I don't know if they can climb trees. I doubt it. But, dude, right there. Heck yes. Let's get up there, baby. Oh, dude, this is perfect. I'll be able to get them straight under me, and I should be able to put a perfect shot on them. Now all we have to do is sit and wait on them. Hopefully it doesn't take three hours. <laughs> Oh, and I have more coming in. 
They're nervous. They're not nervous enough to stop eating. See, it's, they say they know where I am, but I don't know why or how they know I'm here. I mean, the wind isn't that bad. The weird thing is that these two are nervous, but they're right under the stand. So I do think it is actually the wind. I think we're just going to give it a little bit more time. Let the wind move on. But in the meantime, say we go ahead and shoot one and let it be dying. Ooh. Maybe two of them. Ooh. Now, I'll catch you guys in 10 more minutes. Hopefully, they'll be all over me. <laughs> They're still a little sk Now that's a good bull right there. That's a good bull. If he'll just eat, we'll take him. He's eating. He's eating. He's a good one. The ones in the back are still a little skittish, but man, we have a good one right here in front of us. I don't know why we don't want to just take it. I think we will. All right, so this one's a six. That one's also a six. That one's a five. That one's a seven. That's the one we want. We want that one right there. That one's the seven. That one's the biggest one. But man, it is hard to pass up one like this when I know for a fact I can dome piece him. So, without further ado, let's dome piece him. How is he running? Did I just, I just killed that thing. I like this longbow, dude. It makes me feel like an Indian. Like I can just sling shots and they just happen to hit the target. Maybe those aren't the biggest ones in the herd, but we just see, we just killed three right under us. That has to count. Dismantle. We'll take it with me. Let's claim our prize. This one, dome pieced it. Perfect shot. This one, dome pieced it. Kind of perfect shot. Good enough, I mean. And then this one, we kind of neck shotted it to where we, we didn't hit the brain, but then the second shot, I did go straight through and hit the heart. So that is perfect. I like it. Boo! Go ahead and run it back, boys. We are buffalo off the list. We have puma and the duck. I'm going after the duck because the puma is going to be a lot harder. I want to kill these ducks the way that ducks are meant to be killed. So I, I went back to the cabin, found some decoys. I don't really know how to use them, but I'm going to try to. I'm just going to set them out here in the water, hit the call a few times, and maybe some will come out. So I'm just setting out a bunch. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this many male decoys out. Not exactly a, a duck hunter. You may, you know what I'm saying? But here is the females. I don't know what kind of male to female ratio you're supposed to go with. Or what kind of spread. I'm just throwing them out there, okay? One of them's on the rocks. So I'm gonna just get up here in this bush, hit the call, and we're gonna see what happens, boys. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna have to get a real duck hunter on here to show me how to do this. 15 million likes, and I'll get a professional duck hunter to teach me how to duck hunt. So smash that like button. <laughs> All right, guys, I sit there for 30 minutes. Nothing happened, so I left. But anyways, I went pond hopping. I finally found a pond that actually had ducks on it, so I am going to go shoot them with a 22. Yeah, there they are, there they are. Um, those are common teal? No, cinnamon teal. I'm not gonna go too crazy on these. I'm just pretty much just gonna kill one just so that y'all can see what they look like in case you've never killed one. Ducks are the last thing I hunt on this map. Did they already fly away? They were just here a few seconds ago. And that there is the reason why I never hunt ducks on this game. All right, guys, to finish up this challenge, we have to kill a puma. Now, these animals are big cats. Basically a cougar, basically a jaguar. You get the point. Did y'all hear that? We just had one make some kind of mating call, but I'm not sure exactly where it came from. As for weapon of choice, I think I'm gonna use the 308. Oh no, it's directly downwind. That's not good, dude. That's not good. I just got to get my gun ready. I'm just going to have my 308 at the ready. If we pop over this hill and it's just staying there, I'm going to have to take the shot. This might be a pop shot. It might be a long shot. We don't really know what we're getting into. That's why I'm packing the 308 AR in case of anything. Keep your eyes out and your head on a swivel. This tall grass makes it hard to see them because they can just hide down in it and you won't be able to see them at all until you're right up on them. They say one thing about a cougar is that if a cougar does not want to be seen, you will not see it. If you see a cougar, it's because the cougar allowed you to see it. And that is not an exaggeration. Are these the cat prints? It is. This is the cat we, this is the cat we heard. Oh, no way. No way. Is that a wild one? Dude, it's running. It's running. Get the three away out now. That's a long shot, but buddy, it's an albino. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. That's one thing about the 308, is that whenever it does kick, you do lose sight of where you were. 
There's another cat over there. This place is infested with them. They're everywhere. All right, right over here somewhere is where I shot him. So we just need to look for blood, then look for tracks and see how far it goes. Oh, I don't know. I don't think he's dead. Oh, hold up. Wait, hold up. Here's blood. I just found blood. Oh, there it is. There is that. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, no, that ain't it, but I'll shoot it anyways. Hold up, dude. There's my cat. Heck yeah, buddy. <sighs> oh, my gosh, buddy. You messed up there. You're right, where you're right. War? No way. No way. I ran out of bullets. I was out of bullets. That was a kill shot. Where did that dumb deer go? I hope he don't think he's just going to run me run me over like that and get away with it. I'll hunt him down next episode, son. I'm coming for him. Anyways, let's check out my cat. Dude, this is an albino. Think it's an albino or a gray? Oh, it's another gray. Look at that. I hit it right in the back. I mean, man, I know that wasn't a good shot, but you you may never see that cat again. You you really may never see that cat again. You you may not. Don't do, 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 do. you may I shot it in the butt. This is a game. Stop commenting below. Low. Bad shot select. It's a game. It's a bunch of ones and zeros. Stop making fun of my shot selection. This video is over.